Hi, it's Hans at ahappierman.com. Today's topic is determine what's most important to you. Ooh, this is big. Because if you don't determine what's most important to you, the world, everyone else, society, whoever, is going to be pretty eager to dump on you what you should figure out what's most important. Right? If you're continually looking at others for what you should be most concerned with, well, they're more than eager to push all kinds of stuff that really has nothing to do with you to your forefront of your thoughts. And you don't want that. You want to focus on what's most, what you should be focused on, what most concerns you. I like to chunk it down, chunk it down into, you know, the people, the, the places, the uh, things, and what I work on, you know, those are kind of the four, maybe the four main things. So for people, what's most important to me are people, well, it starts with me, <laughs> what is good for me, but let's say other people. Well, I have two kids, so those two are next most after me it's the kids next I'm most concerned with what's good for them how do I keep them going how can I help them what should I do for them uh, is, you know is there anything and these aren't they're not like children children anymore they're young adults which is nice because then there's not so much of my efforts needed to, to they're raised right I raised them but I still since they're young adults, they still need guidance, right? Young adults aren't really qualified to provide everyone guidance. They're young, right? We see, and you see that, right? A lot of young adults are running around uh, <laughs> causing all kinds of problems, right? Uh, you don't want to take too much I, you don't want to get over guided from young people uh, the young people they're the ones that need the guidance you you don't want to get overly you don't want to make adult decisions made by children so I would discount a lot of the things that young adults talk about you want to try to help them give them things to think about. Now certainly if young people are sharing with you things that make sense you could give that some consideration right? Certainly. But if what they're sharing doesn't make sense, well then you just discount it. So the people, right? The two kids, I focus on them. I have my, my mother is still alive focus on her making trying to help her enjoy her her life right she's 80 right my dad is past you're trying to help her have a nice comfortable easy life for as many more years as she has I got a brother and sister and a niece on my side and so I try that's the thing those are like the main family I'm most concerned with helping. I've got a bunch of good friends, and I, I'm very, very much interested in uh, helping them enjoy their life. And if they've got something major, I might be able to help them with that. And then, plus my my work colleagues and other people, you know, you're always trying to figure out a way to make their life easier, uh, make it nicer, give them a few laughs anyway. Let's say for doing, yeah, it's mostly the kids and my mother. That's the bulk of my efforts for, for people after myself. So that's most important to me. And I would recommend that you do that too. Uh, if you are a father with kids, I think you would want the bulk of your time to be spent on 
those kids, guiding them, nurturing them, helping them, loving them, that's big, right? If you have a wife and a, or a steady girlfriend, yeah, she would need all of that, all of that too. Certainly, certainly. Uh, so that's people, right? But a lot of time, you know, with people, we somehow get this idea that we got to help everybody. Mm, that's impossible. That's impossible. Focus on that small group and your life gets a lot easier and better, much better. Things. What about things? Well, I, I wanted to talk about it because I just got a bunch of work done on this prize possession, my truck. Got new tires, uh, some new front brakes, brake uh, line, a brake fluid exchange. Uh, I did something else. Alignment and the air conditioner blower motor. So very, very expensive, right? A lot of, a lot of moolala on this truck. But man, with these new tires and this alignment, this thing just rides like a dream again. Uh, it's got a lot of miles and this is fairly old, but I, I just keep putting money into this. This is my favorite thing that I've ever bought in my life. Um, and every time I spend a bunch of money on it, I give thanks to have it. I don't mind spending a lot of money, even though it's a lot of money. I, but uh, getting around, getting to where I want to go, that's one of the most fun and critical elements of my life. So I want this to be good. It's my prized possession. And if you have prized possessions, you're probably going to want to be pouring money and effort into them to, to make it even better. You know, if you have a house, you're probably going to be pouring a lot of money in the house. Now, I don't, I don't own a home anymore. I've owned a bunch of homes uh, for a variety of reasons. Didn't work out that great for me. But this truck has worked out great for me. It really, really has. I highly recommend you get a truck if you have a chance. And don't be afraid to spend plenty of money on your vehicle. Get the new tires, get the new wipers, get the repairs, you know, whatever maintenance is needed, do it. These things are expensive, uh, but you should be budgeting your money for the most important thing, and that's your vehicle, I think. Uh, what else? Well, you're talking, you know, how you make a living, that's big, right? Uh, if, if, if what you do to make a living isn't engaging, and if this makes you upset, well, you know you've chosen wrong, right? And you need to take a step back. You probably need to quit, and you probably need to do something else. Now, a lot of times, you always they say to get a new job before you quit the old. You know, that kind of depends on how bad the job is you have now. If, you, if the job you have now is so terrible that really have no energy to get a new job while well, you might have to quit right away but anyway that's up for you to decide you want what you make your living at that you spend the bulk of your time earning your your keep with to be pretty good for you pretty good for you yeah those are more very very important things very important to people your, your stuff and how you make your living uh, another thing that's important is how you spend your, your your time when you're not working, right? Are you taking care of yourself, sleeping enough, eating right, getting some exercise? Have you arranged your life so you've got a minimum of irritations and frustrations? I don't think a lot of you do. I think a lot of you have a maximum of irritations and frustrations. Right, you're, a lot of you guys are, are married, and you're married to a lady that's who seems to be have no problem with just making your life difficult. Well, if that's the case, 
probably want to get my book, Leave Your Wife and Become a Happier Man with a Three-Step System, found on the allhappiermen.com website, uh, and learn how to, you might want to leave a marriage like that. Because your life should not be overly difficult. It should not be difficult. You, If you're married, you should want to spend plenty of time with your wife. She should be delightful, and it should be a very nice, easygoing, harmonious relationship. If you don't have that, well, you have to leave. And this goes for the rest of your life too, right? If, if what you're doing is so difficult and so frustrating and you don't enjoy your life and you never have free time and you never seem like you're doing anything you want to do, well, you got to step back and re-evaluate the whole thing because this is your life. Where is it? What is the point if you're not enjoying it? It isn't meant to be just a long slog to the grave. No, it's supposed to be good. So now this is the end of July 2020 as I'm speaking and we're still in the midst of all this crazy, crazy stuff going on at the national level, which is why I wanted to talk about this today is to somehow help me and you focus on yourself and your needs. The, at the national level, at the worldwide level, they're just trying to pound us into submission to get us worried about something that has nothing to do with us. So anyway, it's a very complicated uh, subject, it's, and it's very annoying to be thinking about things that have nothing to do with you all the time. So I, if it would be good, it would help you to focus, always bring back what should I, you be doing? What can you do to make your life good? So anyway, give those ideas some thought. Talk to you later. Bye.